the damn ball, RJ. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, we're finally... We're in the last two minutes of the game here. We're streaming it live. Pick! Pick! What are you talking about, flag? No, not a flag! Not a flag! Come on! What? There's the catch. He had to catch before there was a pick before there was contact. There was a pick before there was contact. There was a pick before there was contact. I don't I don't understand. What are we reviewing? What are we reviewing? I don't I don't I don't understand. What are we reviewing? This this is the pick. Game's over. Come on. No, it's not tough, Joel Clatt. It's it's a pick. This is a pick. What this this that's a pick What What are we doing? I don't understand. That's a That's a pick. That's a That's a pick. I don't What are we talking about here? No, you can't overturn it. You, There's nothing to overturn. That's a ticky tackety car. That's not targeting. That's not targeting. What are we doing? It's a non-reviewable call. Oklahoma retains possession. I like that, Mike Pereira. Yes! It's not a reviewable play, so let's move on. Move on. Give us the ball. Game's over. You can't review that. You. What do you mean, provision? What? No. 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 Nothing clearly happened prior to. No, it's OU ball, 55, 52, 156 left to play. Give us the ball. Enough already. Give us the ball. Come on. Give the ball. Oh my god! Come on! What? Huh? Whatever! They're, they're... Stop! Stop reviewing! There's nothing to review! It is over! This the game... Give us the ball! Bro! This game is taking years off of my life! Oh, good God! Oh my. Oh my. Come on, guys. This is... Oh goodness me. Oh, come on. Yeah, we get that it's targeting, but you can't review the call. You can't, you can't review the call. You don't overturn anything. Don't 
overturn anything. Don't do it. Come on. But, 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 come on, come on. No! Oh my god! They're gonna give him the ball back! What is this? No! Oh, come on, man! That is, what is, what is going on with that? No! That's our ball! But that's our- but that's our ball! But that's- ugh. So now, there's no Will Johnson! There's no Khalil Houghton! There's no Jordan Tup- the, sh the terrible secondary that we had is no longer there anymore! Like, what? What? Oh my goodness! Ugh. Oh. Oh. No. 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 Come on, Trey. Yes. Atta boy. Earn it, freshman. Earn it. It's bedlam. Let's go. Let's go get it. Let's go! Come on. Come on now. Come on, D. Come on, D. Come on, D. That's a run. I'm calling run. I'm calling run. I'm calling. I told you! I called run! Come on now! Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good job, Emmanuel. Good job, Emmanuel. I like it. I like it, sir. I like it. I like it. Three yards. Man, they're going to get three yards, but I'm trying to keep them out of the end zone. No! Hey, nice tip. Nice tip. Tremendous play. Tremendous play. I like it, Caleb. Nice play. Tremendous play. Beautiful. 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 Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, 55 yards. No. No. No, no, no. Don't. Don't. No. Okay. All right. All right. I'm on. Regroup. Regroup. Mike, earn your paycheck. Earn your paycheck, Mike. Earn your paycheck. Call a defense is going to work. Four men down on the line of scrimmage. Get pressure to the quarterback. You know that they're just going to try to get this dude in field goal range. You know that. Come on now. Come on now. Come on, fellas. 106 left to play. You got it. It's okay. We're good. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. Let's go, fellas. Hold it together. Hold it together. Hold it together. Hold it together. You got to... Uh, look. Double cover Aitman. Just, just two men on Aitman. That's all I'm asking for. All I'm asking for... Two men on Aitman. Two men on Aitman. Two men on Aitman. Do not let Aitman beat us. Don't let Aitman beat us. I'm asking you. Don't do not do it. Don't let Aitman beat us. Who's on him? That's not two men on Aitman. That, that's, not two, that's not two men on Aitman. Ask for two men on Aitman. Okay. All right. 
No, 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 yes! Incomplete! Yes! Yeah! Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Death, Texas, and whooping little brothers behind! I like it! Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Already! Already! Yes, sir! Yes! 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 Woo! Run it! Run it! Run it out, baby! Run it out, Baker! Run it out, Baker! Let's go, baby! Victory formation! I like it. We don't need a first down. We just, hey, hey, hey. We just, 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 just hold the ball. Just hold the ball. Hold on the ball. Hold on the ball. Hold it out. Hold on the ball. Trey Sermon, the preacher, is in the house. The preacher's getting it done. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Eat, baby. Eat, baby. Eat, baby. Eat now. Eat now. That's white. That's white. Eat him up. Eat him up, sir. Eat him up. Eat him up, Trey. Eat him up. Marquise Brown. I like it. Marquise Brown, Baker Mayfield, getting after it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And Ohio State lost. And Penn State lost. What's up? What's good? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's right, baby. One yard. One yard. Victory's, victory's ours. Victory is ours. Victory is ours. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Bang on him. Oh, yeah. Sit down. Take a knee. Take a knee. Take a knee. Take a knee. No, oh, take a knee. Sermon to the victory! Yes! Yes! Yes, sir! Yes, sir! The preacher man to the promised land! The preacher man to the promised land! The preacher man to the promised land! Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Yes, sir! I like it! I like it! I like it! I like it! Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Woo! Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Bang, bang. Bang, bang. And that's the game. Yeah. And that's the game. Yeah. 63 52. Get some. Get some. Get some. Yes, sir. Trey Sermon. To the house. Chase Sermon to the house. Yes, sir. Gundy's face, man. Y'all see Gundy's face? Woo! Yes, sir. Ric Flair. Ric Flair in the house. Yes! Oh my God, player of the game, yes. Player of the game has to be Marquise Brown. Man, all kinds of Bedlam records we played for today. This is beautiful. This is awesome. This, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Baker and the Fu Man too. Yes, sir. 42 seconds left. 42 seconds left. And you can't score 10 points in one score. You can't. Game is over. We run this. Oklahoma State Championship, baby. We the state champs. That's right. That's right. We the state champs. Get some. Woo! Yes, sir. I like it. I like it. I like it.
Needed my blood pressure pills though. I needed them. I needed my blood pressure pills. Needed my blood pressure pills. This is this is ridiculous. Whew. My goodness. Don't try to get too much. Don't try to get too much. Come on, fellas. Stay in the middle of the field. Stay in the middle of the field. Are we calling timeouts now? What's Oklahoma State calling a timeout for? A timeout is not going to score you three extra points after touchdown. You can't score 10 points on a timeout. I don't know what's going on here. Gundy just wasting time now. It's delaying the inevitable. Just like Oklahoma State. That's what Oklahoma State does. When they can't really think of what to do, when they can't get it together, they call a timeout. Shows you, tells you everything you need to know. This would make OU 11-2 all time versus the mullet. 11-2. You know, they want to talk about Highest paid employee in Oklahoma is Mike Gundy. Can't beat Oklahoma. Can't do it. I love it. I love it. Man, the combined yardage in here has just got to be stupid. Let me look at some of these stats right quick, man. Like, like, let me look at the team stats. See where we at. 785 yards for OU. 642 yards for the pokes. Man, no wonder I about had a heart attack watching this game. My God. My God. 114 combined points is the most in Bedlam history. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I don't know about freshman CB playing great, Keith, but, but, but he played great for a freshman. I'll give you that. He, you know, Trey Norwood look good for a freshman. Get him! Get him! Okay, we'll take an M club heat pass. Nah, man. Don't let Aitman catch anything else. Don't let him. Torched us. 6 0 Savage is a legend. 6 0 Savage is a legend. He's a legend. Yep, 6 0 Savage is a legend. Yes, sir. I think, yeah. I, you know, I think game day has to get here. I think they have to come. They can't get around coming to see OUTCU. Have to. Game day has to be in Norman after this game. Especially after Ohio State got whooped, Penn State got whooped. You know? It, it has to happen. It, yeah, I can't, I can't see your way around it. Man. Yes, sir. Lincoln, Lincoln Riley to beat Texas and Oklahoma State in his first season. Yes, sir. That's getting it done. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Bob picked the right one. Bob picked the right one. I like it. One more, baby. One more big game after this. Just TCU. Then, then West Virginia. They could, they could be a problem, but Kansas, Kansas is trash. Could start the scout team against Kansas, win by four touchdowns. Who else we got here? Third and two, Oklahoma State football. 30 seconds left to play. Mike Gundy looks like he's about to cry. Mason Rudolph probably is crying underneath his face mask. Hand the ball to Justice Hill. He's all you got. Hand the ball to Justice Hill. Hand the ball to Justice Hill. Okay. For real? You step, we stepping out of bounds now? Come on, man. It's 25 seconds left. Stay in bounds. End this. Put an in, put let put yourself out of your misery. Co commit seppuku. Commit sip football seppuku. Just do it. What kind of name is Stoner for our last name? Stoner. Like like we all know what that means. Stoner. I heard him. Man yell shake and bake in the crowd. That's awesome. Pick. Oh, okay. We're not laying out for footballs anymore, I see. I'm going to start calling Jordan Thomas English English Muffin because it was kid's birth. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Jerry is funny. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. 
Yes, sir. Trey Brown. Trey Brown. That's the game! It's over! 62-52 Sooners! Woo! Yes, sir! Yes, sir! I like it! Yes! 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 Woosa! Oh, I need to calm down after that. That game about to tone me up. If you're just joining in, this is RJ Young, me. This is RJ So Live. This is my channel, RJ Young Writes, where we talk about OU football, sooner related topics, college football related topics. This is the post game show. This is post bedlam. This is post the 87th win in 112 games against Oklahoma State because we run this state. Because this is the Sooner State. This is ours. It's not a rivalry. It's a series. It's a game we let them play with us. It's death, taxes, and OU whipping little brothers behind. I like it. That's what's up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Game is over. Plant the flag in Stillwater. Plant the flag. Plant the flag in Stillwater. Six so savage. Six is a savage. Man, he set the school record for passing yards in a game. <laughs> Baker Mayfield passed for 589. Baker Mayfield passed for 598 yards against Oklahoma State. The number 11 team in the country, I have you know. He was 24 36, five touchdowns, two picks. He averaged 16.6 .6 yards per attempt. Ah, man. Rodney Anderson had another 100-yard game, 21 carries, 111 yards. Trey Sermon had 10 carries for 81 yards with the icing on the cake with his last big run in the last minute of the game. Huge, huge, huge. Look, man, uh, but, but you know, like Marquise Brown set another school record. Nine catches for a school record, 265 yards receiving, two touchdowns. Mark Andrews is great. Three catches for 102 yards. I mean, look, we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight men catch footballs. Eight of them. Man, I love it. Only guy that on the offense that didn't really show up was Abdul Adams because, well, he got saved because it looked like he found a football, but they called it an incomplete pass, and I've never been so happy to see an incomplete pass in my life, in my entire life, you know? But the, what a game. What a game. Like, I talk a lot of noise about Oklahoma State, but that offense can go, man. That offense can get it done. To, uh, I mean, Mike Stoops is, is the defensive coordinator, so of course that helps, you know. Uh, while, while Mason Rudolph put on another Heisman display, 28 of 54, 448 yards, five TDs, two picks. There's his highlight reel against Mike Stoops. And Justice Hill, who, who I got love for Booker T. I got love for Tulsa kids. Justice Hill went to Booker T's Tulsa kid, but 30 carries, 228 yards rushing, 7.6 yards, uh, yards per carry, running roughshod over the defense. Even when Mike watched my video, apparently, and came out with a four-man front. But the gaps and the secondary, my goodness, just burnt toast. This secondary was trash. Jordan Thomas, I mean, like, we bag on the kids a lot. I mean, I don't bag on the kids a lot. We bag on Mike. I bag on Mike Stoops a lot. But I, I try to say that the kids are out of position most of the time. But what it was was Oklahoma State said, you're going to give us one-on-one -on -one with Marcel Aitman, and we're going to eat you up. Give us one-on-one -on -one with James Washington, we're going to eat you up. And we, get, we didn't have a person out there that could cover today. Not a single person, you know? Like, uh, Jordan Thomas... Just just toast. Just burnt toast all day long. You know? Parnell Motley got benched. I thought Jordan Thomas should have benched. But Parnell Motley got benched for Trey Norwood because he's getting torched. You know? I was just, man. I'm I'm trying to figure out what's going on here. I got I I got I got no clue as to what is going on with our defense. Giving up 52 points. I mean this reminded me of uh, Texas Tech OU last year, the 66-59 game. A few more yards, pretty much the same amount of points. You know, this just, uh, just, man, it's 
ah. Uh. We and but to to be fair, there were some defensive adjustments made. There were some defensive adjustments made in you know in the second half, where going in the fourth quarter, you know it was 10, 10 nothing basically OU, but thirty eight points in the first half, thirty eight up in the first half. You know, think about this. Baker Mayfield not only set the school record for passing yards in the game, he broke Sam Bradford's two thousand seven record. For passing yards in a first half with 350. That was Sam Bradford's record. By the end of the first half, Baker Mayfield had 393 yards passing. Like, I was trying to figure out whether or not, you know, it was it was Mike Stoops that was coaching Oklahoma State's defense too. Like it that's what it looked like. Alright, roll call right quick. Let's see who's in the chat. Let's see who's in the chat. Let me look. Jerry was in here first. Dirty Jerry was in here first. That's what's up. Thanks, bro. Charles Alvis, what's up? Keith Cottoner, what's good? 1982 Boomer Sumer, what's good? Mark, I'm going to mess up your bad, your last name, but uh, Maselli? Mark Maselli, I think. If it's not, I'm sorry, but I, I tried, Mark. Uh, who else we got in here? Who else we got in here? The Bright Red Elephant, I like it. GD, what's good? Wardog, what's good? Gash Blitz is in the house, I like it. Who else is in here? Who else is in here? Bull Winkle Moose. I like it. Meredith Dornan. What's up, Meredith? Nathan Schuyler? 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 I hope. Samuel Martin. What's good? Craig Star. Samuel Martin. What's up? Bruce. What's good? Man, some of y'all names are just messing me up. Andrew Southard. What's up? Craig Walker. That's what's up. Let me see. Who else we got in here? Camille's in here. That's what's up. Bradley's in here. I like it. Medical. What's good? Trey Brown. Oh, yeah. We need to get Trey Brown in here. Yeah. I hear that. Yes, the defense. Charles is right. Defense is humiliating. I was just talking about the de defense. Wouldn't be. I wouldn't trust the defense to stop at a red light. Like, I I, I, I don't know how we're going to win a national championship with this kind of defense. Because all we're doing is outscoring people. Like, that's all we can be trusted to do at this point. And I don't like it. Like, it's, it's bothering me. I just, I just don't get it. I don't know what we got to do. To, to 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 fix the defense at this point. I mean, I've been on the fire Mike Stoops train for a long time, and I still want to fire Mike Stoops. I still want him gone. I don't, but I don't know what to do about, I don't know what to do about the defense, even if we took, like, at this point, fire Kerry Cooks, because the secondary is trash. Like, like, it seems like the only, man, the only coach, on the defense, doing his job, Ruffin McNeil, Calvin Thibodeau, they coached the defensive line. Like, that's all, that's all I can think of, you know? I mean, you can make an argument for Kish, but not really. You know, the linebacker's just cleaning up messes. <sighs> I don't know what to do about the defense. I just, like, let me look at these team stats right quick. Okay, Oklahoma State, 661 total yards against... Against our defense, 600 yards of offense, <laughs> 600, 600 yards of offense, 32 first downs, 448 through the air, 213 on the ground. Like, you know, uh, we won the game, and I'm so happy about that. But 52 points, bro, like this 62-52, this is likely to be the Bedlam basketball score. What is that, man? We just, uh Look, Sierra, this game was beautiful trash. <laughs> yes, it was. Yes, it was. Beautiful trash. <laughs> what else, who else we got? Keith, they need to start covering safeties high. Mm, I say that, but then we get beat through the middle. Let me see. Uh, who else we got in here? Jerry Vick came in here. The professor's in here. That's what's up. I mean, I mean everybody, everybody's really right on time with the, with the defense. It seems like... As bad as the defense is, is uh, uh, yeah, as bad as the defense is, that's how good Baker Mayfield is. Like at this point, that was another silver lining for me. If Baker Mayfield is not the Heisman favorite after this weekend, where JT Barrett's Ohio State got torched, and I think he threw something like four picks, you know, where Penn State got thumped by Michigan State after a long weather delay, so they can't bounce back well from you know it raining. So Saquon Barkley should be out. At least out of the out of the top three, JT Barrett shouldn't be in the conversation anymore. 
So uh, uh, as it stands to me right now, the Heisman favorite ought to be Baker Mayfield at the top, right? Right up there at the top. Bryce Love, depending on what kind of day he had today, you know, should still be in the mix. Josh Adams moves up to number three. And Minka Fitzpatrick, the DB at Alabama, would be number four. And I think you can stop there. I don't think you need to put a fifth man in the Heisman right now. Like in this first week in November, it's more like Baker Mayfield is the last man standing. And not only last man standing, he's one of the best passers in all. Like pro football focus made Baker Mayfield the best college football player in the country. Like, I don't, I don't, like, everybody else sees it. Heisman voters need to start seeing it. Heisman voting experts need to start seeing it. Give the man the Heisman Trophy. It's his. Two-time finalist. He's going to win this year. He's got to win this year. Six is a savage. Like, six so savage. Win this year. Speaking of six so savage, I got a link to where you can find this shirt in the description below if you're interested. I get a lot of comments on my shirt. I dig my shirt. Uh, Let me see. Who else we got in here? Craig was Caleb Kelly was missing the cutbacks bad. Yeah! Uh, I mean, but also Caleb Kelly was out on an island, you know, and there were some times where he flat out stopped Justice Hill. So I give him, I give him props for that. Let me see. Saquon had like 63 yards. Yep. See the professor's on top of it. Uh, yeah, Lloyd, I was just talking about that. Baker had to clinch the Heisman, you know, he had to. Corso picking OSU. Yeah. GD's on it. I saw that this morning. Corso likes picking against the Sooners and I love it. When he picks against us, we win. <laughs> like. Keep picking against us, dog. Like, you're a good omen. Chris Weeks, they need to make Mike Stoops walk on. Yes. Yes. Make that man walk the 85 miles, 85 miles back to Norman. You know, make him just, you know, find his own way home and let him think about what he has done. There was a combined 876 yards of offense in the first half. For that matter, make Glenn Spencer... Walk back to, to wake him wherever it is he lives. You know, I don't think he has sense enough to live in Stillwater. He probably lives in OKC. Who would live in Stillwater? Stillwater. Why would you live there? I don't know. I go to school there because I have to. They got my program and they offer me money. Uh, but I take the bus and I live in Tulsa. Let me see. What else did I write down here? So there were aspects of Mike running a 4-3. Yes. Good on you, Mike. You can watch my videos and you can let me diagram your offense and tell you why it's trash and you can adjust and still get torched. Like, uh, anyway, you know, I know Neville Gallimore being hurt doesn't help him and I know Matt Romar being hurt doesn't help him, but the front seven was not the problem. You know, today, the scheme didn't so much betray the players as the secondary and by the secondary, I mean the corners. Steven Parker, for my money, was doing his job. Like, I bet he grades out and gets an A. And for that matter, I bet Khalil Houghton grades out and gets a, uh, gets a B. And I bet Will Johnson gets an A. By the way, Will Johnson, picked a heck of a time to have your first pick of your OU career, dog. <laughs> In the end zone. Stealing points. And then we went right down the field and scored. I love that. Man, that's a 14-point swing. I was so happy to see that. Let me see. John Phillips, what's up from NC? Hey, that's what's up. I hope NC means North Carolina. Otherwise, I'm going to think it means national championship. In which case... Thank you. You're you're guarding the trophy for us. Very cool. Uh, let me see. Corso, Professor Corso picked Ohio State and Oklahoma State. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, he did. Everybody, you know, the game day set for the most part doesn't like us. I don't know why that is. It's gonna be real awkward when they announce on Sunday that game day is coming to Norman and Corso and Herb Street are there, and all they've done is is just try to talk noise to OU. Like that's gonna be really interesting. I bet they get heckled. Don't let game day come to Norman. They'll, they'll get heckled. It'll happen. Let me see. Uh, Jake Richards wants to know, what coverage were we even in? Look, I was watching close, and we were in a lot of zone to start, right? But late, we were in man. But we were in man because we were trying to match up, and we couldn't match up because, frankly, their wide receivers are better than our corners. That That's a flat-out talent thing. We got out-talented on the edges. You know, the only thing that Oklahoma State could do well was open us up with throwing deep. Because if we could put Aiton in in the box, Justice Hill wasn't going to do anything. But when they got one-on-one -on, -one on the outside, Mason Rudolph would just throw jump balls. And Marcel Aitman was mossing. Especially on Jordan Thomas. Particularly that TD he had where Mason Rudolph just threw it up on fourth down. Said, hey, Marcel, go get it. And Marcel said, I got you. I mean, Marcel Aitman's going to play on Sundays. But if Jordan Thomas wants to play on Sundays, he got to break that pass up. That's, that's just a flat-out truth. 
You're supposed to be the shutdown corner. You're supposed to be the field corner. You know? You, you're supposed to be the guy to take away the other team's best guy. And we don't have that guy when we're playing against Oklahoma State. Which, you know, should really make us feel some kind of way if we got to play against another team, like, say, a West Virginia, where they got wide receivers that can go, you know? And we make it into the college football playoff, right? Think about that for a second. We go up against those Alabama receivers? We're going to get torched. You know, Aaron Coleman is not on this team to, to, to lock up Amari Cooper. It's not, it's not here anymore. Like, that was the other thing I was really thinking about. Who's the last great lock-up corner OU had? You know? Like, give that some thought. That's a scary thought. I mean, we want to say Aaron Colvin, but outside of that Sugar Bowl against Alabama, there, there hadn't been one in a while. And I think that's a, that, that's a glaring... That's a glaring hole in Mike Stoops' recruiting, right alongside defensive tackle, to be quite honest with you. Like, for whatever reason, he can't recruit shutdown corners or solid defensive tackles, but I think it's because of the scheme, you know? Because if we look at the 3-4 that he wanted to run that requires a three technique that can handle double teams, don't nobody want to come here for that. you asking them to do all the work getting under the glory. Don't want to do that. Plus, when you see how many points are getting scored on you as a defense— would you want to come play? I don't think so. When you see that, you know, he's going to put you out there as a corner on an island by yourself with very little help over the top, if any. And, and no, you don't want to do that. You want to go somewhere where they're going to play straight up cover one, cover six, you know, uh, cover three, but with a strong safety high. You know, that's what you want. That's what you want. Trey Brown got robbed on two interceptions. Austin Hill. Let me see. Who else was in here? Vico made it in here. That's what's up. John Burkett made it in here. That's what's up. The crazy engine. He <laughs> made it in here. Man, he killing me with that tag. Jake Richards made it in here. What's good? Michael Green made it in here. That's what's up. Who else we got? Sooner 1991 made it in here. That's what's up. Uh man. Murray played well the first half. Yeah, yeah. Kenneth Murray did play well. He he played really well. But that's the thing. The Nas, I see Professor, you saying Zach Sanchez. Zach Sanchez wasn't a shutdown corner. Zach Sanchez was a ball hawk. You know, he was a ball hawk. And that's different than a guy who can just ma match up and put hands on a person and not let him get anywhere. I don't, I, don't, I don't think Zach Sanchez is a shutdown corner. I think he was a ball hawk. I think he was great at picking the ball up. I don't think he was great at locking people up because Zach Sanchez also can't, couldn't tackle. Like, y'all, I think people forget that. He was the most arm tapicalist <laughs> corner you ever saw. Yeah, uh, so the video is frozen. Yeah, so the video is frozen because I was having trouble with the stream the last time and I didn't want to take the chance this time. So we're getting a lot more audio at the expense of video. But as soon as the video is up and going and I feel good about it, you guys will get video, I promise. Uh, so that's, that is why the screen, the screen for is frozen. But if you're taking, like I can see your chat, I can see your questions in chat, and I'm taking your questions in chat. So, uh, if you can get it, let me know. If you can't, I understand. So, uh, questions, throw them in here. Super Chats, appreciate it. All that kind of stuff. Let me see. Valerie DeLeon's in here. Let me see. Sierra, Zach Sanchez was a facade of a CB. He wasn't shut down by any means. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yep. Brent Keller, what's good? Edwin Anglin, what's good? Let me see. Uh, being, let me see. Baker Mayfield for Heisman, what are you saying? We got the win. I don't care how it looked. I care how it looked, um, and I'll tell you why I care how it looked. Because the defense, this is a nationally televised game. Every game we play, for the most part, I mean, except that one that everybody's got to pay pay-per-view for, is a nationally televised game, you know, and other teams are going to watch this, and recruits are going to watch this. That's what I'm really interested in, and recruits don't, if they're playing defense or being recruited to play defense, don't want to watch the defense get 52 put up on them. I don't care how good Oklahoma State is, you know, that's not going to excite you as a recruit. So I think it's it's bad to t to say that, you know, we got the win, I don't care. You know, I mean, in the grand scheme of things, yeah, we got the win, but that affects our recruiting. We got a bunch of kids that are on the fence. We're trying to flip a Texas recruited linebacker. We're trying to flip a Texas A&M recruited linebacker. You know, we're trying to score a defensive tackle. We're trying to get some kids to go play alongside Ronnie Perkins and Ron Tatum when they get here. You know, we, we got to have that. So, I mean, I hear you about in the grand scheme of things, but I really just... I want a D, uh, Dom Franks. Who said Dom Franks? 
Jake Richards, yeah, uh, I, I would go, uh, Dominique Franks could shut some people down, but that was so long ago, and I don't think, I don't think Stoops was here for Dominique Franks, you know, I don't think he was here, you know, who else is in here, Norman Burfield, what's up, Norman Burfield, uh, Leonce, yeah, I think it's Leonce Terry, Sermon should have taken a knee, I was yelling it, I was yelling for Sermon to take a knee, I know he wanted to score, and he's a freshman, so it's his first bedlam. But I, yeah, I was, I swear, I was yelling. I wanted to take a knee, and I wanted to take it at the fifty. Oh, <laughs> I, I, I wanted, I wanted to even take a knee. That would have been great, man. That would have been awesome. I, I yeah, I, I wanted him to take a, For that matter, I wanted anybody to take a knee. Let me see. Uh, no, he shouldn't have run it up. I mean. I hear you, John, when you're saying run it up, but bro, it was already ran up. We'd already scored, like between the two teams, this is the most points ever scored in the history of the Bellum rivalry in one game, so it was ran up, you know, it ain't like we were winning 63-9, to you know, this was a close game to the end, it was back and forth, I was along with Warthog just holding my chest the whole time, yelling at Mike Stoops. Yelling at Jordan Thomas, yelling at Marcel Aitman, cursing Mike Dundee's hair. I mean, it was all it was all like that. It was all over the place in that manner. So I, I get I get what everybody's saying about you know taking a knee or not taking a knee. I wanted to take a knee just you know because I wanted I wanted the style points. Matter of fact, uh, in tomorrow's video, uh, Sunday video, I got a bunch of. Uh, Bedlam reactions and Bedlam photos that I, I've collected that people sent me in emails, sent me in tweets. Feel free to drop them to me uh, in my email. My email's in the about section or uh, over Twitter. Your thoughts you know, or, or tweets you thought were funny. I'll compilate them all together for the Sunday uh, Bedlam recap. But uh, one of the ones that I saw that just made me giggle was somebody was cool enough to Photoshop where uh, Oklahoma State has its you know, false 1945 national championship, you know, says 1945 national champions. Somebody had uh, photoshopped over the top of it. Samaj J.P. Ryan took a knee. <laughs> He's great. Like, I'm, I can't wait to show y'all that. That was great. I loved it. Uh, let me see. Jay Jones, yo, RJ, Caleb was getting smoked. Yeah, I hear that. But he was also, he was also on an island by himself. Like, I, and if you look at my, at my video, about Mike Stoops', Mike Stoops scheme, you'll see that Caleb Kelly gets left hung out to dry a lot, you know, and it's just the nature of the scheme that they run, and it puts a lot of pressure on the outside linebackers to make plays in positions that they're not necessarily in the best way to put, into, you know, they're just not in the best position to make a play. So a lot of times, Caleb Kelly's got to read the B gap for run and also read the swing pass or the out route, you know, or the play action where they're just going to dump off to the running back and he's, you know, caught between two minds. So it looks like he's getting smoked when really he's just reading his keys because Mike Stoops has a terrible defensive design. I mean, that's the long and the short of it. Matter of fact, uh, I think what I'm going to uh, what I'm gonna do later this week, I don't know if I'm going to get get it done in time, but I wanted to diagram Gary Patterson's 4-2-5 defense, particularly because we're going to play against it and why it's so good. Uh, just to touch on it for a second, the reason that Gary Patterson's 425 works so well against spread offenses in particular is because they don't call like a whole play for the defense. They call a play for the defensive line, they call a play for the linebackers, and they call a play for each side of the secondary. So like the coaches know what's going on, but the kids don't have to think about anything but their particular player. And it just works really well. And I'll, I'll, I hope I can get to that because it sounds a lot more complicated than it is, but We'll get to that later. Back to back to this game. And what are y'all saying? Uh, let me see. Uh, fresh mistake, too hard. Kerry Cooks. Kerry Cooks is trapped. You, you know, it's, it's about time to start questioning whether or not Kerry Cooks is doing his job. That's legitimate. A lot of people have been coming to me saying that. A lot of people have been saying, why are you giving Kerry Cooks a pass? Why aren't you going hard on Kerry Cooks? Because Jordan Thomas is trash. Or because uh, Will Johnson is trash. Or because lately Parnell Motley hasn't looked up to snuff. Or because they just won't sub in other corners that could get a shot to play better. Or play well. And you know, I think that's it's time to have that talk. You know, he's the, he's the co-defensive coordinator. The secondary is all his. 
And if we're getting torched through to the tune of 448 yards, like it's harder to find a guy who has not passed for 300 yards or more against Oklahoma than, you know, who has. I mean, the 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 third string quarterback for Iowa State passed for 300 yards. Uh, Baylor, who got their first win against Kansas today, had Zach Smith pass for 463 yards. Man, y'all saw me tearing my hair out during that game. Mason Rudolph, who's a better quarterback than anybody else we faced this year, threw for nearly 450 yards. You know, I mean, and on and on it goes. You know, uh, I think I think we held, ironically, Shamanic to less than uh, 300 yards passing, but barely in, a, in another hideous game in the first half. But I don't know. Uh, we'll see. Uh, like I said, at this point, I know why Lincoln doesn't want to fire Mike Stoops or Kerry Cooks or anybody on the defensive staff right now because it would shake up recruiting. And if he was going to make an argument to me, it would be we made we have one loss. And we have one loss against an Iowa State team that also be a top five TCU team. You know, so the bend but don't break defense is working for us this year. You know, and I think he's going to address it in the offseason because if he doesn't and we end up not making the college football playoff or Mike Stoops' defense gets us shelled again. I don't see how Mike survives. I mean, I think that's the reason Ruffin McNeil was brought in is because Lincoln Riley trusts Ruffin McNeil. Say what you want about him being the defensive coordinator at Texas Tech when Leach was being there or when he was the head coach at East Carolina, but Lincoln trusts him. And with Lincoln at the as the head coach, we got one loss and we beat Texas, we beat Oklahoma State, and we're in a good shape to beat TCU on Saturday. Like, I think we can win that game. I really do. This offense is that good. You know, for the first time in a very long time, I'm not scared of TCU's defense like I have been, you know, because that game is usually always going to give you a heart attack because, you know, it's about whether or not Sonny Cumbie and Doug Meacham can come together to find an offensive game plan that'll beat us up, not whether or not Gary Patterson's going to be able to match up with the offense. So, you know, but for the first time, I think that we could we could win a shootout. I think we could just because we're that talented on offense. Like, that's the one thing about this offense that I love. C.D. Lamb is the best wide receiver on the team, but he wasn't the best wide receiver today. And that's, you know, that's cool. You know, Marquise Brown had a day. You know, Mark Andrews had a day. Dimitri Flowers found himself, like, in the middle of a wheat field, wide open. You know, uh, when Trey Sermon's not able to go, Rodney Adams steps up. And, and, and Abdul Adams, uh, Rodney Adams, Rodney Anderson steps up. And Abdul Adams steps up. You know, this is this is good stuff. And I think we're we're talented enough. Like I'm, I think we could even beat TCU. Uh, God forbid if something happened to Baker, because I think Kyler Murray is that good a quarterback. I feel good. What I'm saying is I feel good about the depth at offense to beat TCU. You know, I think we're talented enough. It's about whether or not we can hold their offense to fewer points than the amount of points we're going to score. And that's just been our story all year. And I think that's going to be our story for the rest of the season. We have to outscore people because we can't trust the defense to stop anybody or anything. Couldn't stop a toddler on a big wheel. You know, just, I don't, uh, These kids, they uh, I, I love them, but man, 52 points. All right, stat attack, right, Twig? Let's, let's check, let's, let's go through these stats. Let's, let's do the box score thing. Baker Mayfield, as I mentioned before, 24-36, 598 yards, five TDs, two INTs. Rodney Anderson, again, had 111 yards rushing, on 21 carries, 5 point yards per carry. Trey Sermon had 10 carries, 81 yards, TD. TD, we all, th- or some of us thought he should have taken a knee on. Uh, Abdul Adams lost his carrying privileges after he basically fumbled what they called an incomplete pass. What I, what I'm glad they called an incomplete pass, but just, you know, he just let the ball go. He had one carry, four yards. Marquise Brown set a school record. Nine catches, 265 yards. Averaged 29 yards per catch. Two TDs. Mark Andrews. Three catches, 102 yards, you know. Michael Jones, three catches, 53 yards. CD, three catches, 51 yards. You know, Dimitri Flowers had one catch, 49 yards, went for a TD. You know, I love that. That's awesome. Will, <laughs> both Will Johnson and Robert Barnes had picks. Uh, I believe that's the first of their career for both of them. Uh, Marcellus Sutton is planting himself as the kickoff guy, as the kickoff return guy. I like it. I like seeing that guy get game. Uh, Austin Seibert did his job, two for two. You know that's what. What else can you ask for? You know, uh, like that. Would, this is an efficient. This is an efficient offensive display, by uh, uh, perhaps 
I would say that this offense is more explosive than the 08 offense. They're certainly putting up more yards per play. And they're probably going to set the school record and on pace to, 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 to obliterate the school record for yards per play at 8.3 yards per pop, you know? So I don't have a problem saying that this is the most explosive offense that we've ever had at OU. But again, it's the defense, you know? It's the missed tackles. It's the arm tackles. It's the kids that are out of position. It's the kids that have to read more than one key. Uh, I just, I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand. But we're going to switch gears real quick. Talk a little bit about how Oklahoma's win over Oklahoma State, 62-52, impacts the college football playoff. Particularly because Iowa didn't just beat Ohio State. It beat the bricks off of Ohio State. Just, just broke them. Beat them like stole something. Beat them like they owed them money. 55-24. to Unranked Iowa. Stops a mud hole, walks it dry, Ohio State. Watch the committee try to penalize us for Ohio State getting beat. Because this immediately is going to make our win over Ohio State not look that sexy to them, please. We beat uh, uh, a top five Ohio State in Columbus. Can't take that away. Don't miss, miss us with that. But that's one, that's one big game. Uh, Clemson barely beat North Carolina State 38-31. You know, uh, North Carolina State was the number 20 team in the country. Clemson's ranked just ahead of us. And number four, I can't see the committee really moving Clemson, you know, down or us above them, although it could happen. But if anything, it would just flip-flop at four and five because, um, you know, one, two, and three I think are going to stand pat. I think Alabama's going to get a win against LSU. I don't see why they wouldn't. Uh, Georgia already stomped a mud hole and walked a dry South Carolina. You know, uh, outside of that, uh, the big one to watch for us is Iowa State lost to an unranked West Virginia. At the time, I, I mean, not at the time, today, Iowa State is ranked number 15 in the country, lost 20-16 to 16 to West Virginia. So I think that that loss to us looks a little worse. Uh, but not if West Virginia wins out, you know, so forth, so on. But they can't win out because they still got to play us, so forth, so on. But I think for our purposes, we're still top five. We're sitting pretty four or five. I think you can make us make a good argument for us being number four team in the country. Um, of Alabama, Georgia have a chance to cancel each other out. Notre Dame could stumble and fall. I think Clemson's going to get beat in the ACC title game. That's just me. Uh, I think we're in good shape. You know, I think if we win out, we're good. I think that's something to keep an eye on. But I'm so happy to see Ohio State. Oh, Penn State. I forgot to mention Penn State got stomped. (laughs) 27-24 by Michigan State after a lengthy weather delay. So that means Penn State, Ohio State, both took losses today. I like it. I like it. Only helps us out. You know, Oklahoma State, we ain't got to hear from it anymore. That's two losses. One against TCU, one against us. Bye-bye. See ya. Bye. Your college football chances, college football playoff chances are gone. You know, your Big 12 title chances are gone. Get out of here. Bye. See ya. You know, and that's another thing. We're sitting pretty for the Big 12 cha- uh, championship game. And I like all of that. It makes me feel really good. So uh, after after this gut-wrenching afternoon of points on points on points of us all having our hearts in our throats every time we got to play defense. Uh, You know, I feel good. I feel good. You should feel good. You should feel great. You know, we got TCU next Saturday. Get a win against them. You know, then it's Kansas-West Virginia. And we in the Big 12 Championship game. And then we in the CFP, hopefully. But we'll see. All right, roll call right quick. If you're getting in late, Say hi, so I can call you out. All right, here we go. Oh, there's my mama. That's what's up. So, Dirty was in here. Jerry Jones, or Jerry Jones. Dirty Jerry. Derek Henson, what's up? Team Ray, what's good? John Perkett, what's up? Angie South, what's up? The Professor. Brent Keller, what's good? Jay Jones. Davin Stamatis, I think. I think, if I mess it up, I'm sorry, dude. Colton Rapstein, thank you. Sooner 1991, appreciate you. Charles Serber, appreciate you. Vico Wagner, what's good? Who else is in here? Jake Richards, what's good? Who else we got in here? Uh, John Ibn, what's good? Uh, mama, Felicia Young, that's my mama. Mama Savage, she's in here. Crankstar, what's good? Elizabeth Dini, what's good? Who else is in here? The Crazy Engine, what's good? Yep. Man, Hollywood had a day. Charles Avis was in here. Chris Weeks was in here. Guns Nebula was in here. Craig Walker's in here. Sierra was in here. What's good, Sierra? She's fun to follow on Twitter. Uh, John Phillips is good. 
Keith Cotner was good. Rene D. Rodriguez was good. Rye Bread was good. Uh, Jake Richards was good. Lloyd Grissom was good. Jerry Vitt, I like it. 1982 Boomer Sooner, yes sir. Medical Links was good. Who else we got in here? Camille Jakubowski. Man, that's a that's a name, dog. I, I'm sure I I butchered that. Haynesville Distribution, what's up? Uh, Samuel Martin was in here. That's what's up. GD was in here. Meredith Dornan. I could have swear I saw. Yep, somebody. Bruce. I miss Bruce. There it is. All right, I think I got everybody. Uh, appreciate y'all joining me for the the live post game show. You know that this is the RG Young Rice channel where we talk about OU football, OU sports, college football. Every day I upload a video. We do live preview game shows on Wednesdays. We'll do pro, uh, post game shows after every OU football game. Oh, Stephen Bryant, what's good? J Word, what's good? Uh, wait. Oh, my girlfriend made it in here, Laura Williamson. Y'all get to see her in a video tomorrow. Uh, Earthbound, what's good? Uh, Josh Redman, what's good? Let me see. Did I miss anybody? Will, hey. Uh, ah, that's what's up. Jerry saying hi to my mama. Thank you. All right. I think that's it for today. Like I said, uh, this is the place to be, OU Football, OU Football videos, upload one every day. I appreciate y'all being here. All right, I'll see y'all tomorrow. Deuces.